Welcome to the RISA Learning Center. Our Learning Center provides a robust user experience allowing users to easily purchase training, view both live and on-demand sessions, and manage training materials such as video recordings, model files, or tutorial documents. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the Learning Center has to offer. So we have purchased training and logged into the RISA Learning Center. To view my enrolled courses, I can go to the Me section in the top right corner and choose Profile. In my Profile page, I can view all of the courses I am currently enrolled in as well as their percent completion. Here at the top, I can see the number of courses I am enrolled in, the number of hours enrolled, and how many PDH certificates have been issued. For completed courses, I can also click here to download their PDA certificates. If I click on my course here, it will open up the course page for this course. On the course page, it will show me the instructor information and the difficulty level, as well as the course requirements. You can also see here a brief description of the course to understand your learning objectives. The next section is what's included. This section lists the information, training resources, and certificates included in this course. I have selected a live virtual course. Therefore, the Learning Center is going to show me the schedule of live video call sessions for this course. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. We can see this course schedule again. But this time, we have the option to add each event to your calendar. Click the button here and choose your calendar. When it adds this to my calendar, you can see the meeting information, including that Zoom link to attend. When the session is live, I can come here in the Schedule section and click to join the session. If we scroll back up, we will find our course lessons. Use the drop-down arrows to expand or collapse each lesson. Each expanded lesson will have information and links to open the lesson in the course browser. In the Getting Started section, there are links for videos, and downloadable resources for you to get started and prepare for your Learning Center training. For live virtual courses, there are sections for live sessions, recordings, and office hours. Clicking the links will take you into the live video sessions with your research trainer at the scheduled date and time. Each of the live training sessions will be recorded. The recording will be uploaded and appear in the links here. If there are homework assignments associated with your live training, the homework solution video recording can be accessed here by clicking this link. You can see there's a lock symbol for this course lesson items. This is because the virtual course has not started yet. See the dates here. For example, once my trainer starts the live course, now the padlock is gone and I can access the video call links. To access the course player, I can click any of the links here in my expanded course lessons or I can come up here and press continue. Now in the course player, I can use the navigation bar on the left hand side to expand or collapse the course lessons. And getting started, click the before you begin section. You can see the prerequisites for this course and click those links to start any prerequisite training. Also there is frequently asked questions section to help you get familiar with the course. When we see a play symbol, that means there's a recorded video associated with that lesson item. A paperclip symbol means there's a downloadable file associated with this lesson item. I can click to download the virtual courses training kit. Next, if I select one of our live sessions, when the instructor is not live yet, another one of those schedule windows will appear, giving me the option to add to my calendar as we saw before. Once the trainer is live, a button to join the session will become available. You can click that button to join, click the calendar Zoom link, or click the Zoom link from your email invitation you received. At the conclusion of the course, we will now select Conclusion in order to enter our information for our PDA certificates and to complete your feedback survey. Overall, we're really excited about the new RISA Learning Center excited about all the features and functionality it provides our training customers. 
If you have any other questions about the RISA Learning Center, please reach out to us at training at risa.com.